Let's take a look at doing systems check on your camper in the spring to get it ready for summer. So step one, find your drain points, which mine show right here, low point drains. And you can see right up under here, the two drains right there. Take the caps off and drain out the winter antifreeze, the pink stuff, and drain it into a bucket and put the caps back on. Then you connect up to your fresh water supply here with the water hose, open up your spigots and let them run until the fresh water comes through. And you do it to each of them. There's an outdoor shower sink and bathroom sink inside then also if you've removed your drain plug on your hot water heater right here you got to uh, reinstall it and tighten it with some little teflon you can see the white teflon tape on there and then you come up to your propane tanks and you turn your propane on and this is a selector switch up front here which tank it's going to go to i like to go into the stove and turn the stove on inside and purge all the dead propane out of the lines So once you have your propane turned on, you can come inside and you turn the burner on and then you try to ignite it. And you shut it off so you don't fill your camper full of gas. I can hear it hissing. So after a few times you turn it on, then it'll finally ignite. See how it took a little while to uh, purge the, the dead propane air out of it. Then once it's one of them's lit, I turn the other one on. And those usually go pretty quick. So now you can see it's getting propane this far and they all ignite. On mine, I have to do a pilot light under here. You turn it to pilot and run a lighter right here. And uh, it'll warm the little contact and start propane starts coming out. And then just a little pilot light will turn on. And then, uh, then you can turn it to full on. See, it's like pilot on and then full on but we usually don't run the, the oven that much so i like the pilot before we use the oven the next system is the refrigerator which ours you can see the, the power's on with the green light meaning it's on ac and if it's on gas it looks like a yellow light and then if it's out of gas it goes to red so Let's, let me show you the uh, control the uh, burner for the, the refrigerator. So this is actually where the burner is behind this little panel, which is right behind the refrigerator. So you take it off, and this one's a two-way, so it has AC, and this is the power going into the refrigerator, but it also has a burner for propane. And what it does is it heats up, the ammonia and then it uses ammonia heated ammonia to cool the refrigerator so it either heats using the ac or through the propane so to make it switch over to the propane and make sure the propane is going to work you can just unplug it and then wait
and you can hear the click 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 that's the igniter going and now you can see through that little window there and through the end here i can just barely see there it is see the blue flame in there so that means it has propane it's gonna this little chimney here will start getting warm and i usually let it run for a little bit and make sure that it's going to it has propane and everything's working right and then when you're done testing it you can actually uh, plug it back in and it'll switch back to ac the other thing if you really want to test it is you shut the propane off at the tank and it'll it'll switch to let me show you shut the propane off here and see it's on yellow now because it's on gas and it'll turn to once the burner uses up all the propane in the line it'll switch to red okay did you just see it it just turned to red so it tried to reignite the propane i could hear it click 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 and it'll do that for about a minute and then if it won't ignite it switches this little led to red so that's what that means is it's not burning and it's not on it's because the uh the, there's no propane in the system or you need to go like uh, I just shut one of my bottles off so you would switch it to the other bottle remember to go back out and uh, plug it back in out here you just plug this back in and we can put the cover back on carefully sets in these little grooves Turn these there and now when we go inside see it switched back to AC which is a green light so that's about it for the refrigerator the other thing to test are these carbon monoxide and propane testers and make sure the little light is on if you could see that if it's focused see it says carbon monoxide and propane gas tester it should be down near your floor because propane sinks to the to the floor it's heavier than air and you can uh check the little light on there and, and see if it's if it's ready or like uh if it's in startup mode, this one, when it's starting up, it'll like blink and blink and blink on green. And uh, when it's solid green, it's on. And if it's alerting, it'll go to red. So you just want to check the date on these. They only last, I think, five years. And uh, I just had to replace this one. So I know that they also come in carbon monoxide only and propane only so this one's actually a dual purpose one so it does both of them so you just want to check that before uh, heading off for camping the other alarm you want to check and just go ahead and replace the battery in is your smoke detector fire alarm and make sure that it actually works and push the little test button so make sure it sounds off you know you're supposed to do that once a year and just go ahead and put the new nine volt battery in it Another system to check is your, your power inverter and your circuit breakers and your fuses, just to make sure that they're all working correctly and labeled. And like right now, this one's shut off, which is the water heater. So I don't want it turning on when it was uh, just sitting here, but make sure the circuit breakers are all on and working and it's a good 
idea to carry spare fuses like most of these are 15s so to carry a few spare fuses on it there's a couple of 40s also but just to uh just look in there and check on it okay the other system that i like to check is the heating and air system so this one is actually a heat pump so it heats and cools and it also has a gas furnace that will kick on and uh, have a propane blower to it so i just turn it on and you can hear the fan blowing okay so to test the heating and air system this is a heat pump with a gas propane furnace backup. So when you switch it to furnace, and it's set to 80, I think the temperature's, yeah, there we go. So what this one actually does is the rooftop heat pump will turn on and blows a little bit of warm air but if you go outside this thing is your furnace and I could feel warm air one of them's an intake and the other one's the exhaust so one of them starting to blow hot propane fumes and then my little furnace down here this is the propane furnace vents and it's starting to get warm. And on this rig, there's that one. This grill right here is the intake for it. And this is the other exhaust vent, and it's starting to get warm too. So the furnace is working. And up top here, the heat pump just blows a little bit of warm air. It's very hard to tell that it's any warmer than the ambient air. But that's the heater. Switch it off. And the way the gas furnace works is it continues to cycle a blower on it just to make it cool down for about a minute or two. So I don't know if you can hear it, but the that propane furnace is still circulating air and cooling down the propane furnace part and it'll do that for about a minute okay now that the furnace is shut off let's switch it to ac i have to turn it down systems are working the fan the air conditioner the heat pump and the, the gas furnace all are working 